Why are people from the future not time traveling to our period? Wouldn't you think if someone figured it out, they would have come back by now? Or perhaps you believe time travel is impossible, which helps explain why people haven't come back. Or maybe they have. Yishan Wang stirred up a thread on Korra by presenting this graph, a small slice of time from the formation of Earth until now. As you can see, if a future time traveler found the Earth to be an interesting destination in the first place, the chances of them choosing our time is pretty slim. You might be enjoying yourself, but let's be realistic. Our era may not be that interesting, relatively speaking. And it's dangerous. What if you accidentally show up in the middle of a war zone, get stuck in a machine or chemical waste, or get eaten by a fish? Aside from personal danger, it could be a threat to the whole universe. What if you traveled back into time and killed one of your ancestors responsible for your own birth? That's a heavy paradox that you probably wouldn't want to test. There's no denying I'm creating change when I swoop my hand through the air. But still, in the grand scheme of things, it's unlikely it'll have a big effect. Relatively speaking. But what if you could travel back into time to affect positive change? Just got back to tomorrow. Put another thousand shares on Apple. I need more dresses. Of course, in reality, I'm going to have to return all of these today before my check goes through tomorrow. But what about the real side effects of changing the course of history, though? This could lead to multiple universes or branching universes as demonstrated in The Legend of Zelda when Link awakes to find the world in a ruined state. At the end of the game, the antagonist Ganon is defeated and sealed within the sacred realm. Princess Zelda then sends Link into the past to right the wrongs Ganon created and thus creates two worlds. One in which Ganon is sealed away in the sacred realm and one in which Ganon was merely imprisoned by the king. Luckily, I found a comment on the Korra thread that should put this whole thing to rest. And Anon writes, Hi there! I was born in the year 2292 and am here as only one of a select few researchers to experience what life was like before the Great Redo, where incredible affluence preceded generations of warfare and malaise due to reckless resource planning and allocation and other tragic practices I am contractually not allowed to tell you about. Because, internet. From whatever moment in time you're in now, now we're together in it. I'm Kagan and this is Rocket Boom.